Hey guys, so we are back with another everyday makeup drawer and this one is a special edition. Let me know if you guys like it like this because I think I may do theme, like kind of like theme. Y'all see what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's get into it. Y'all know as always, I will link the um I will lift the, leave the playlist or right over here in the corner. I know y'all see in my finger. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the playlist right over here so you guys can check it out if you have not checked these out. But basically, this is how I organize, how I declutter. I leave it like this and then I kind of like do it before and after. So once a month, I come in, I organize this and I bring, I take things out, I put things in and I decide what I'm going to declutter and what I'm going to keep, what I absolutely love. This kind of gauges my makeup collection and it actually keeps me pretty organized and it's really allowed me to realize what I love. Now let me just say really quick, excuse me if you hear some noise, it is Super Bowl. So if you hear some noise, that's what you hear. This is the month, this is February. So I thought that for Black History Month and y'all know I already love these brands, but I wanted to put them on blast. You'll see in the month, in this month, there are going to be some brands that I put on blast. And of course, it's all positive. And that is the type of vibe that I have on my channel anyway. But I want to show you guys some, show some love to some really great companies. And they are, you know, these are companies that are great, which is really what I look for. But most of all, even better that these are black owned businesses and collapse. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and organize and then we will bring some items into my collection that you guys will see. Okay, so let's start adding things in. Now, first of all, I know that this Kat Von D Monarch palette was in my one month, one palette. I am going to keep this, but I'm going to add some more to it. How about that? Hold on just a second. So let's talk let's talk black history you guys because that's really what i want to emphasize on i know it's black history i want to give i want to put some brands on blast just in case you didn't know that they were black owned from what i know now you know sometimes people get bought out if you know anything about the brands that i'm talking about definitely leave comments down below but as far as i know these are all black owned now these are going to be i'm i'm going to merge these with brands that are not black owned but i wanted to show you guys some that i'm going to feature this month and yeah let me talk about the one that was in my january favorites and definitely has been giving me some love some ooh, giving me all kind of vibes and i absolutely love it and it is the city mini palette by makeup shayla she did this collab with maybelline and it is phenomenal y'all hearing joseph in the background joseph say hi <laughs> so this is the palette that makeup Shayla made y'all this is bomb if you can get your hands on this this it, it's a um, it's inexpensive compared to Sephora you can pick it up from Ulta or any of the drugstores and it is phenomenal y'all I have been loving on this palette I actually use this gold right here as a highlight it is so awesome Joseph is trying to get me to do something. Joseph. Ah! Joseph, I don't know how to get this off. You took, you put it on there. Here, you take it off. Okay, so, but this is amazing. I love the black, love the purple. I feel like that this is an amazing transition shade. And she did an amazing job with this palette. I feel like the cream is perfect for setting the eye and putting on the brow bone. This is a great, if you want to like throw it in your crease or deepen it, deepen the look. This purple is amazing on the lid, on the outer corner. This is phenomenal. So this is going in here. And by the way, the eye looks that I have been posting on, it's so funny. I've been posting on Instagram. Y'all have been loving it. It's this palette and it's phenomenal. So this is going in here. Two more palettes I'm going to feature. Now, these are like eyeshadow palettes because I do have a face palette. And let's just go ahead and get the face palette out of the way because it's also Makeup Shayla. And it was the collaboration with Tarte. So this she made for women of color, POCs, yay. And then they actually made a contour highlight palette for uh, volume three. This is volume two. 
and uh, this is just for deeper skin tones. You actually, even deep skin tones could actually use this, but they did do one that was deeper. I don't know if this is a still available, but this was phenomenal, and uh, I'm going to put this in here. I love this palette, y'all. This is like a one-stop shop. I fell in love. She was the reason why I fell in love with face palettes because now I have the Chrissy Teigen palette from Becca, but I am into face palettes. It's like a one-stop shop. You can do your lips, do your lip, um, not your lips. You can do your eyes, your cheeks, your contour, your bronzer, everything. So I really love this. Packaging is amazing. Okay, let's talk about two more eyeshadow palettes. This is from Juvia's Place. This is the Masquerade palette. And y'all gonna see a makeup look a little bit later. I filmed it in the studio. Um, oh, and um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway in collaboration with that one because I have the mini version of this, which is still huge, but this is such a beautiful, like, array of colors pops of colors so beautiful so i'm going to be putting some looks probably on instagram this is the nubian 2 palette by juvia's and y'all i haven't even touched this one yet so i definitely need to give this one some love so this is how the shades are looking i'm sorry i'm bringing it into a focus that's how that looks so beautiful and i'm definitely putting this in here this is from iman this is her luminous foundation powder and this is in clay one and that's how that looks I plan on using that if you can see it, it does have shimmer in it so not a shimmer it has like a sheen I don't know if you see that like flecks of gold yeah right there so beautiful so I'm gonna pop that in here I actually have two of her foundation sticks and that's how that looks it was a little bit dark at first let's bring it up Okay, and these are in Earth 1 and Clay 4. No, Sand 4. So these are actually matte. So if I do use this, it'll probably be with um, my Makeup Forever water blend just because it'll be it'll make it luminous but this one is a really good concealer and this one I use for contour. So I'm gonna be using these. I use them anyway, but like I said, I want to put these brands on blast. And it's from the drugstore. E these are by Iman, so I'm going to pop these in. Let's put these right there. Next things that I'm going to put in, this is a beauty bakery. This is their flower setting powder in yellow. I have not used this yet, so this is a great time for me to actually use it. Let me know if you wanna see a review. Maybe I'll review all of the black owned businesses, like the best and worst of the items that, of, that I have. It might not be any worse, I don't know, but we'll see. And let's pop out some, some of these powders, okay? We don't need all of these setting powders because we wanna give some, oh, we want to give some love to the other ones. So I popped out the old Maybelline, which I still plan on comparing it to the new one, but I've been using the new one. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Yes. Okay. So I got Glam Moms. This is the collab that she had with Artist Couture. This is her La Peach. Y'all know. Oh, this is her Diamond Club powder. Yes. Gonna use that date night. Me and the hubby is gonna, we're gonna go see Black Panther, so. I will be slaying with that. Yes, the Alyssa Lip Gloss by with Elf. The collab that she did with Elf. And I am so excited to use this. This is Nude Rose. So yeah, going to be using that. Let's pop that in there. Let's just put everything together in this one. How about that? Put all of those together so you can see it. Can y'all see that? I know, La Peach is just blinding y'all. Let me put it to the side. Okay, I am going to put these minted lipsticks in here and lip glosses. These are some of my favorite. If you don't want to spend the money it with for these NARS Audacious lipsticks that you see right here, use a minted. Their lipsticks are phenomenal. I'm putting four in here. I'm putting Nude La La, which is one of my favorite. This is Foxy. No, this is Dark Night. I need to use that during the fall. Foxy Brown. I thought I had another one in here. Oh, and I have Mauve Over and Bury Me, my two favorite lip glosses. These are awesome. 
So I'm going to put those in there. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yes. I am getting Andrea Renee's brushes. They are on the way. So those will be in here as well. Those are the brushes that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use those anyway. But I have to show my girl some love. I probably be interviewing interviewing i probably be reviewing those uh, maybe i'll do a review of all of the black uh businesses and collabs that would be awesome this is by danessa myricks now i have not tried any of her items but jackie ina has talked about this i got this at the makeup show this is her prism fx hydrating lotion i am so in love with this packaging this is the pump let me show you guys how it looks on the skin and it is giving me max strobe cream vibes and there you go oh wait hold up oh yes mama will be using this look at lord look at that y'all see that yes oh and it smells good yes so yeah but this is by Danessa Myricks she is a black makeup artist who came out with her brand and i know that i want to try her foundations and i'm also getting the beauty bakery concealer i'll be using the fenty foundation uh, i do have a project pan but y'all some of this stuff i am going to use you'll probably see in some instagram photos some flat lays all of that jazz so uh yeah oh i have two more minted this is in pretty and pink oh i love this one and i also have baby brown right here so these are all the collabs like i said i'm gonna put this one at the bottom i'm gonna give these some love and put them on blast yes and y'all know i'm gonna be using my smooth naturals i actually ran all of out i don't feel anything in here but this was her nourishing cleansing oil use this up uh, but wanted to show you guys that. So uh, that is my makeup drawer. Do y'all see? This is the after. So I have pretty much everything in here. Uh, I can't wait. I'm supposed to be getting the Beauty Bakery Concealer. So hopefully I can do a full face. I have foundation, concealer. I have a setting powder. I have my highlight. I have my cheek color because I am I was like, oh, I don't have a blush. But yes, I do from makeup Shayla she hooked it, us sister up I have a actually another setting powder these are some highlighters I have a, a blush so I'm good and I have three palettes Juvia's and I actually have the city mini by ooh, where is it city mini by let's put that in there everything let's just have some black love over here okay okay in the makeup drawer yes and y'all, if you if you if you just saying why she giving so much love, hello, I'm black. Yes, yes. It's not all of my heritage, but it is definitely a majority, and I love it. I love my heritage. I love my peoples. And yes, I want to show some love. So this is um, my makeup drawer for February. Let freedom ring. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want to see any more things. If you want to see like in March, everything spring themed. Uh, if you want to see, I don't know, just like um, things from my Ipsy Glam Bag in here, BoxyCharm. But this month is all about my, you know, uplifting my brothers and sisters who have been killing it in the makeup game and in the beauty industry. So I love you guys. And this is my everyday makeup drawer for February. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.